Hi there and welcome back to FTL, faster than light. I'm Byron and those are the continuing adventures of the USS Good Hope 3 in Sector 8, the last stand. We have already fought the enemy flagship twice and we will do some final upgrading. I want to increase my drone control by two bars so I can actually have both drones active at the same time. Still have one form, so we could use that to increase oxygen. So we can regenerate our oxygen faster if we want to. Okay, let's head out back to the flagship. The rebel fleet has found you, and a nearby scout turns to engage. You must flee before their cruisers open fire. And they teleport in here. Okay, they want to mess with the weapon systems and Lieutenant Game Hoarder. But we actually have... wait. You should fire. Activate all that. And... I don't really know whether we need that. Let's leave it at that, I think. Okay, they're dead. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe not. That's why not have it. And we beam over now. And what do we attack? We attack their shields. I trying to get away. Are you attacking? That doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't matter though, actually. Um. Okay, are you fully healed? I do wonder why it doesn't seem to be possible to get those down. Fire. Why the fuck isn't it active? Why am I missing all the time? Okay, that's weird. Turn for that thing through the shield? Yes, you can. That's awesome. Stop wasting that. Oh, now it worked nicely. We get one fuel though, that's not really much. Okay. Whatever. Get a bag. Yeah, okay, we power that down, we power that down, that down, that down. 
Max that out, max that out. And now oxygen really rushes into the rooms. People probably get dizzy because of that now. Okay. Let's move towards the rebel flagship. Here it actually is. The last. Ooh, it's uh, in pretty bad shape. You're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it has sustained. It looks like it is... It's transferred, transferred power to the teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon. Be prepared. This is it. Okay. So we power you down. And we power you down. Power you up. You up, you up, you up, you up. And um, we power you. Yeah, why not? Get everything up and running. Everything is on, right? So we could also activate that and that. Very nice. You move over, over here. Oh yeah, of course. We have to take out that stuff. Um, They have this sultan shield, we have to take that down first. As long as that is up, we can't really do anything. Okay, the left one is the laser and the right one uses the missiles. Good to know. So the sultan shield is out, or rather down, so turn one in here to take out the missile launcher. Uh, energy search, power search detected. What's that going to do? Ow! Ow! Oh, oh, can't be good, can't be good. Ooh. Okay. The good thing is that um, the rocket launcher is down now. So we power you up and get you back. Are you hurt? Not really. Power search detected. And we cloak. We're not here. Okay. Can we teleport in? Yes, we can. Take out the shields. And maybe you should take out that lane. I'm sorry, I'm still recharging. That is actually rather close. Get back, my friends. And that's it for the Rebel Flagship, I guess. Thanks to the valiant effort of USS Good Hope 3 and her successful crew, Gilvan, Game Hoarder, Alina Ray, Charlie, Maloney, and Marcus, the Rebel's flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring a Federation victory. Yay! We have won. Let's enjoy the credits. That's a lot of Kickstarter backers, supporters, whatever you might want to call them. I 
don't really wanna. You can actually spend a lot of money at the, those Kickstarter projects. There's this RPG uh, that was that well, will come out I think in 2014 or something. It will be created by the guys that made Landscape Tommy and stuff. I think you can go up to ten thousand dollars to actually back that. I do wonder though, if you pay if you lay down ten grand you don't lay down for the game. I mean you get like a super duper deluxe edition and you get invited to a, the release party and can play a tabletop RPG with the devs and can design an, a, a character or an object within the game and uh, get signed stuff and everything but come on 10 grand that's quite a lot I do wonder though is it are you really like an investor I mean do you get the share of the profit if the game is successful or do you just like buy a very expensive copy of the game and what would happen if you laid, if you paid money in a Kickstarter project? They take the money, they invest it, they try to create the game, but then they decided, shit, the money, they don't get enough money, and they can't release the game because apparently it's more expensive than they thought it would be. Would you get your money back? And where would you? And they will not release a game at all because it's not finished, you know. And they spent the money in the process. What happens then? Do you get your money back? Where would it come from? Is there some kind of insurance involved? Or is it do you just write it off as a loss and move on? Hmm. I don't know. But apparently it worked here. If you kickstarted that you apparently got a game. And it's a nice game. Um this time, you know, it worked pretty well because, first of all, I knew the game a little now, and this being the third playthrough, and I got a lucky too because I found that iron bomb and that health missile thingy. That really helps if you, you know, use. Uh, like the invaders approach if you teleport crewmen over to other ships and there was a meta knowledge involved too because I didn't take out the last crewman if I would have done that then the ship's AI would have taken over and automatically repaired stuff that would have sucked that's why I left one crewman alive then the AI doesn't kick in. Wow, that's a lot of Kickstarters. CEO of Cake. Dragkogan.com Apparently there are some small companies involved here, too. It's not just all consumers. Congratulations, you have defeated the rebel flagship and ensured the victory over the Federation. No, <laughs> not over the Federation. And ensured the victory of the Federation over the rebels. We get a score of 3898. Awesome. So, I guess that concludes the third playthrough. So, I thank you very much for watching and wish you a nice day. Goodbye.